Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have some spicy updates in regards to the rumored upcoming album from Eminem, the side B slash deluxe of music to be murdered by. And we have takes from associates and the media that we'll be covering in this video, including some hints that have been slammed by sources while they maintain that they are 100% sure that the album is ready. As we dive in, if you enjoy content like this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the notification bell, and find me on social media at italifestyle underscore web. So first of all, before we get to how some of M's friends slash associates are responding to this so far, this drama has hit double XL's radar, and they shared this on Twitter. Developing is Eminem dropping a sequel album to Music To Be Murdered By This Week, and in the article, it's safe to say that double XL is stretching their legs to try out for a comedy skit on SNL, since in this article, they stated, double XL has reached out to Eminem's camp for confirmation. Well, I'm just waiting for a mate, as I said. Who's your mate? And since we are in the digital era where streaming has taken over, some fans are aware that Eminem could pull the plug at any minute. And over on Reddit, a user states, XXL picked this up, we're in trouble now. Since Eminem doesn't mind releasing physical copies a week later, based on how things went with Kamikaze and Music To Be Murdered By. So releases are much more flexible in the streaming era, that's for sure. Another user asked, does this mean M's camp is gonna delay the album again? But one thing people are forgetting is that this could all be part of the plan from Shady's camp to get the ball rolling. History shows that's not out of the question. And based on reception on the XXL's post, we have to commend Eminem for finding a way to live rent-free in the minds of those that hate him and love him concurrently. How else do people get this triggered by a rumor like this? I hope not that album was trash. Eminem needs to understand that he should have retired a long time ago. And the attention seekers actually caught the attention of Crook on Twitter, where one user stated in regards to the rumor, if it sounds anything like his last three albums, he should just hang it up. To which Crook drops the ice code and Vil with this response. You're talking about the platinum plaque. And people often talk about how sales don't matter, but in this case, it shows that there's still huge demand for his music as his fans still enjoy what he puts out evidently. Y'all remember when Twitter went into a meltdown when Eminem's Spotify stats were revealed, and if you missed that, check it out now, one of the most fun videos I've made this past few weeks. Crook also weighed in on the quote-unquote tracklist that's been going around on social media that most believe is totally fake. And we'll get to more on that in a bit, and Crook edited it to add his logo with the caption to go with it. There stands, I can absolutely not confirm anything that has my logo on it, sorry guys. And some users missed the joke on this one like this. The COB sticker is fake, I have a pic of the actual one, to which Crook responds, Oh I know that part for sure, because I own that company, HAHA bot salute. People always ask me why I spell out HAHA, but who am I when even Eminem laughs all the way to the bank like this? Jokes aside, Crook dropped more on the whole drama on Twitter where he states, Stans should be happy though because M stays working for real. And I'd add that the reverse stands should be included in this, how else will they be able to chase clout efficiently without Eminem's name? And under this, a user adds, Facts, we're lucky that he loves what he does so much to never quit and we get to enjoy the greatness. And that's why I always support the artists I love. It's a great way to show that there's still demand to keep them going. Detractors worry about Eminem so much and all their faves quit because they stay pressed about the wrong career. And Proof Son Juan Hassan looks to have been getting a lot of questions thrown at him and he's reacting on social media accordingly. He states, LOL don't ask me, I'm not saying anything. And over on Genius, there's already a page of the side B of music to be murdered by with a few tracks added, which has left some people with more hope, but little did they know this doesn't mean much. One user breaks it down on Reddit. Basically, anyone can edit Genius. It's just speculation. In relation to the tracklist making the rounds, one of the main sources responsible for this rumor stated, everyone keep in mind there's no real tracklist out for Eminem or Cardi out right now. And some people are wondering if anyone actually believed the tracklist was real to begin with. One user reacts. The people actually believe that tracklist was real and it seems like Alec the leaker has quite the reputation. The user adds this after someone asked about the leaker. One of the biggest leakers of this generation is the one who leaked the artwork. And here's the leaker confirming that the album is 100% real. 
White Gold, who was part of the original Music to be Murdered by On You Gonna Learn, has also cleared up some things, and here's a screenshot of an exchange with a fan, he states, Y'all keep screenshotting me, I'm not gonna give any clear signals, because none of y'all can keep a secret, but I truly have no clue if a project is gonna be released on Friday. No one has told me anything, that was a rumor started on Twitter. And if you don't know, White Gold pretty much dropped a hint that no one caught before Music To Be Murdered by Drop under the Eminem tweet. People think they want this problem till they get it. To which White Gold responded, they gon' learn back in August 2019, months before Music To Be Murdered by dropped. And right now, fans have braced themselves to digest one of the biggest L's of 2020 if nothing comes on Friday. There's even a thread gaining traction that states, if nothing happens on Friday, this will be an L of truly biblical proportions. Comment below and see you on the next one.